One very important goal for any tennis player is learning to swing smoothly, to really let the racket do the work. The tendency is for us to try to muscle the racket to the ball, instead of really letting the racket swing. In order to feel how the racket should swing, there's a couple of interesting things that you can do. In the first one, you're going to use a heavier racket or two to swing. The extra weight will really help you feel the swing of the racket. The idea is to really hold the racket loosely and let the racket move as if by itself. Visualize that you're throwing the racket to the other side. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a few shadow swings with two rackets and then you're going to leave one racket down and you're going to try to swing using your normal swing and try to emulate that feeling that you had of letting the racket do the work. Make sure that you're holding the racket always very loosely. One of the main problems with choppy swings is pressing on the grip too much. So keep the grip nice and loose. Let the racket do the work, nice and relaxed. Let the racket do the work, let the racket swing. Similarly, instead of using a heavier racket, what you could do is you could hold the racket with three fingers instead of the whole hand. That will guarantee that you're not really pressing on it and it also is going to keep the racket nice and loose. And uh, it, it creates a similar effect than holding a heavier racket. So what you're going to do is you hold the racket with the top three fingers, keeping the bottom fingers off the grip. Try to take a few practice swings, letting the racket swing, feeling how the racket kind of travels smoothly through the air. And then you're going to try to swing like that. The only way to effectively swing with the three fingers is if you really let the racket move smoothly. If you're choppy with it, the racket head is going to move out of control. You could do a similar thing with the backhand, obviously, and if you have a two-handed backhand, what you could do is you could have both hands with three fingers. So it would be look something like this, three fingers on both sides, nice and loose, and you're trying to let the racket swing. So developing an effortless swing is really going to make a difference in your game. The reason tennis looks so easy is because the professional players have learned to develop this efficient swing, where they're only using the muscles they need to uh, create the movement they want and making sure that they're relaxing everything else. Try these two exercises and your, your swing will become smoother and smoother.